My name is Andrew Redfern and I am coming to you from Sydney, Australia. I am excited to explore how artificial intelligence or AI is changing the way we do family history. In this presentation, I am going to show some examples of different ways these tools can enhance our work as genealogists, helping us to put our ancestors in their place. Firstly, let's start with a question. Is AI really new in family history? The answer is not at all. Many platforms have been using AI for years. Think about those automatic hints on many of the platforms we use, or how records are indexed so quickly. The 1950 US Census was indexed in a total of nine days. And then there are theories of relativity and through lines that suggest connections that we can then verify. All these are examples of AI at work. Historically, AI has been behind the scenes, helping us to transcribe and index these records, making them searchable and usable. Without it, many records would still be sitting in boxes, waiting for someone to index them manually and make them available. AI has sped up the process, giving us faster access to the information we need. While AI may not be new to family history, what is new is something known as generative AI, which allows us to generate and transform existing content into something new. This may be text, tables, images, computer code, or even videos. Generative AI is a game changer for us as family historians. Tools like ChatGPT create a variety of content based on prompts. These tools can be draft stories, generate hypotheses, or even suggest new research angles. But remember, AI won't replace us anytime soon. It should be considered more of an assistant, a tool, helping us with the tasks that might take us much longer than otherwise we would have liked. One of the most exciting things AI can do is help tell family stories. Using generative AI tools, you can produce historical narratives in no time. However, it's important to keep an eye on the details. AI can sometimes hallucinate or get facts wrong. By adding information you already know or have researched, you can turn AI's work into something both accurate and compelling. It is best to think of the AI tool creating a first draft that you can tweak and personalise. Here, I'm providing ChatGPT with research I have conducted about my third great-grandfather and asking it to write a biography about this ancestor for a blog post, giving specific instructions not to add anything extra to what has been provided. As you can see, it makes quick work of this task, using the research that I have carefully undertaken over the last several years. It's using the sources that I have provided and the facts that I have provided from that research. Now, AI isn't just a storyteller, it's also an analyst. AI can sift through massive data sets to find patterns and connections we might otherwise miss. Imagine trying to make sense of hundreds of DNA matches or working with messy text data. AI can help organise that chaos, saving us hours of time. Using entries from an index of, to birth registrations for one of my family lines, I'm using ChatGPT to create a table of this information that can be, then be used in other areas of my family history. As you can see, despite unformatted and quite messy data, it's making quick work of creating a table for me. If I wish to, I can also then manipulate this table and remove columns and get it, get it to sort or uh, filter on particular things. An example of that would be recreate the table, omitting the PDF 
availability column. AI can also be a brilliant transcriber. It's especially helpful when we work with old documents like wills or deeds. Poor quality scans or handwriting errors, AI can often predict what makes sense. Even with newspaper articles, AI can correct optical character recognition errors, which makes text more readable. Here is an, ob an obituary from a digitized newspaper article. Using ChatGPT, I am now going to ask it to retype the article for me. This will correct any erroneous carriage returns or any formatting issues that, were, uh, that came from the original article. Following completion of this, I will then prompt the tool to extract the names of the people mentioned, their relationship to the deceased, and their location. It then analyzes the text that I've provided and then creates the required table. Of course, Information would need to be verified, and the editing and checking process is an important part of using these AI tools. Transcribus is my go-to tool for transcription, and here I am using the AI tool to transcribe a letter written by Lord Bathurst in 1824 authorising my third great-grandfather to travel to Australia with the promise of a land grant. Following the transcription process, the tool provides a side-by-side -side comparison with the document and the transcription. This allows for easy comparison and editing and checking of the transcription process. Beyond text, AI is making its way into creative projects too. Imagine generating portraits of your ancestors based on descriptions or old photos. You can even create voiceovers for family history videos or animations to bring historical events to life. These enhancements make family history more engaging for everyone. Here, I'm using DALI as part of ChatGPT to create an image of a cemetery that no longer exists where one of my ancestors was buried. AI can also act as your personal research assistant. I've just discovered an ancestor was involved in the Mexican War of Independence and I'm now using perplexity to provide recommendations for sources to explore, archives to visit, and even provide context about the time period, which will give me a fuller understanding of my ancestors' experience. As you can see, it provides sources as well as an answer to my question. It also provides related follow-up questions, which will give me further insight into this period of history. Of course, there are ethical considerations. We need to be transparent about our use of AI, respect privacy, and ensure we're not spreading misinformation. It's important to know the limitations of the tools we use, making sure we conduct thorough, responsible research. At the end of the day, AI is a tool. It's not a replacement for traditional research. It is the interaction between humans and the AI tools that make a difference. There's no substitute for human intuition, critical thinking, and our passion for family history. AI works best when it's combined with our expertise and skills. In conclusion, 
AI opens up a world of possibilities for family historians, from transcribing documents to enhancing family narratives and even generating creative content. It allows us to work more efficiently and tell richer stories. I encourage you all to embrace AI as a partner on your genealogical journey. Visit my website for further information on using AI in family history, or scan the QR code to access a downloadable PDF of some of the ma materials shown in this presentation. Happy researching.